Hello my Wolfpack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Competitive Guide video. So today we're covering Garchomp and Mega Garchomp, two very cool mons, um, obviously the same mon, one is just Mega Evolved. But yes, Garchomp has been a huge mon, obviously it was terrifying when it was in Cynthia's hands. Uh, it was one of the big, big beasties of Gen 4 and has remained one of the big, big beasties. Uh, probably better than Flygon, uh, I have to admit. Um, although I do really love my Flygon. Uh, it's a little, bit, a little bit better than Flygon and has just been... Such a huge one in the meta, and I don't think it's ever not going to be a huge one in the meta. So, yes, we have a Choice Scarf Garchomp here for the first set with Sandvale. So Sandvale works really nicely with mons that have um, Sand, Sandstream as their ability, so like um, Tyranitar maybe. And then we have, if Sandstorm is active, this Pokemon's evasiveness is 1.25, means that you have the chance for things to be mi to miss you. Can always run Rough Skin if you want to, but I've put Sand Veil on this one. And then we have Dragon Claw, Earthquake, Iron Head, and Crunch with this Choice Scarf. So Dragon Claw is obviously a strong stab. Uh, Dragon type attack, you can have Dragon Rush if you want to risk missing it, but I would say have Dragon Claw instead. Earthquake, strong stab, ground type attack. Iron Head to hit those annoying fairies that are going to be there, and Crunch just to hit the other stuff that you're not really hitting already. And we have Max Attack, Max Speed on this thing with Jolly Mancher, so more speed and less special attack, and 4 EVs in special defense. So this thing is just going to be a fast, sweeping, destructive force. Uh, obviously you have to pick your move and stick with it because you are choice, but with that 1.5 times speed and your already stellar attack stat, and things are gonna be things are gonna be crying at you. Things are gonna be scared of a choice scarf garchomp. It's always terrifying to think of a choice scarf garchomp. Second of all, we have a Rocky Helmet Rough Skin Garchomp, which I think a lot of people do run this. So Rocky Helmet um he takes an eighth of the Pokemon's health if you're hit by a contact move, and then Rough Skin takes another eighth, so that is a quarter of their HP each time they hit you with an attack. And if they're like if they've only got attacking moves on all their mons um, that are going to make contact, then you are going to hopefully deal quite a lot of damage to them. And then for the moves, we have Stealth Rock, Toxic, Raw, and Earthquakes. So Stealth Rock um, obviously sets up your rocks. Toxic to start getting some toxic damage, racking up, chipping them down. And Raw to get them out and get the... Uh, I can't think off the top of my head. Um... <laughs> To get them out and get other ones in, hitting with the Stealth Rock and Earthquake is your strong stab ground type attack. I think you probably can also run Dragon Tail if you want to, um, but there's also the risk of Fairy types in that case. So I, I do prefer Raw for this one, but if you want a move that's going to be doing some damage, I would say go for Dragon Tail and not worry too much about it. And then for EVs, we have Max HP and Max Defense with a Impish Nature, so more defense and less special attack. And four EVs in attack just to make that Earthquake a little bit stronger. So yeah, this thing is more stally, more going to be defensive. You're going to be taking a few hits um, and going to be kind of knocking things out through Stealth Rocks and Toxics with the damage racking up. Um, that's kind of my thought there, and I think that that one will qu work quite nicely. And then for Mega Garchomp, Mega Garchomp is actually seen as worse for a lot of people. Uh, obviously, its speed does get lower, but its attack is absolutely out of this world. One of the highest attacks in the game. Uh, then Sand Force, I believe, increases increases the power. Yes, yeah, so the Ground, Rock, and Steel moves are 1.3 times the Sandstorm. So if you get Garchomp and Tyranitar together, you have got quite a destructive force there. So we have Swords Dance, Outrage, Poison Jab, and Stone Edge. Swords Dance is to set up your attack a little bit more because nothing is going to be living. Outrage to just destroy everything. Um, it, you do have to be careful of fairies in that case though because sometimes they are going to come in and just completely take your Outrage and you're stuck in it for a couple of turns. Poison Jab to get rid of those fairy types um, is an alternative to Iron Head. And Stone Edge just for everything else. And then we have max HP and max attack with a Adam and Nature's more attack and the special attack and four EVs in special defense. Yeah, this thing is going to be taking a couple of hits, but it is totally capable of doing it. It's got high defense. Um, it's got reasonable special defense. Uh, you can replace the Stone Edge with Earthquake. I believe it also learns Rock Polish as well. Um, let's just check. How does it learn Rock Polish? Uh, Let's have a look down. No, it doesn't learn Rock Polish, unfortunately, but 
Um, it does learn, doesn't learn Dragon Dance, which is another kind of shock there. But I think this this set works perfectly fine. Um, honestly, like setting up your attack and taking a couple of hits is going to be perfectly fine. Um, and yeah, that is it for Garchomp and Mega Garchomp. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm going to get off here, so I've had a good one, and I will see you soon.